All right, my holy friends, Pesach is behind us, Shavuot is on the horizon, which means it's time to count the barley harvest. For those of you who have watched my videos before, you know, should it come to any surprise that this period in our calendar, known as Sfira or Sfirat Omer, the counting of the Omer, is rooted in agricultural practices from long, long, long ago. But if you've watched my videos before, you'll also know that I don't think that we should say that with any kind of embarrassment or any kind of shame. In fact, we should really own that. We should double down on it and try to find a way as modern Jews to reconnect our agricultural practices to our ritual practices, our religious practices, find a good harmony and make it meaningful for us today. So this week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this into two different videos. The first video, we're gonna talk about the halakha. We're gonna talk about the laws of counting the Omer, how to do it, the tachlis of it all. And then we're also gonna go into a little bit of a deeper dive and talk about the meaning, the mashma'ut behind it. So here's what we need to know halakhically. Svira, or the counting of the Omer, begins the second night of Pesach and goes until the holiday of Shavuot. Every single day we count based on the day it is, starting with one, then two, then three, etc., until we get to Shavuot. We wait until nightfall, until after the sun sets, and then we stand out of kavod, out of respect, and we say a bracha, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al svirat haomer. Blessed are you, our God, King of the universe, who has commanded us in mitzvot and the counting of the Omer. And then we count the day. We say Hayom, and we can say it in Hebrew, in English, whatever our native tongue is. We count which day we're on as we work our way up to 49 and then to 50 for Shavuot. But we're Jews, so of course there's a little bit of nuance here, right? So after sundown, we say it with a bracha. We, we, we do this mitzvah with the inclusion of a blessing. However, if we miss the counting in the evening, we can still count the next day throughout the daytime until the sun sets, but we don't include a bracha. We don't include a blessing if we count during the day. So we would just say today is the X day of the Omer. And finally, just to make it a little bit more complicated, if at any time in the counting of the Omer, any time during the Omer period, you miss an entire day, meaning that you didn't count at night and you forgot to count during the day as well, so you actually skip a day, you can still count the Omer throughout the rest of the time in the evening or in the day of the next day, but throughout the remainder of the Omer, there is no bracha. We don't say a blessing if we've missed a day. All right, now that we've covered tachlis, I'm gonna invite you to head over to the other video. We're gonna do a little bit of a deeper dive.